Hello friends and welcome back to the Steps of Baking series. This is the 13 part video series in which we take a closer look at each individual step of the bread baking process. From weighing out your ingredients to cooling your bread down after baking, each of these steps is just as important as the next and each of them will affect the end result. In the previous episode we spoke about scoring. The next step right after scoring is baking. There's been a lot of work put into the loaf to get to this point. The ingredients have been weighed, the bread has been mixed, it's been fermented, folded, divided, pre-shaped, shaped, fermented, scored, and now we're baking. So what happens when our dough goes in the hot oven? So whilst the dough has been fermenting in around 25 degrees Celsius, once you place it in a super hot oven, it undergoes enormous changes. And the first thing we always see is oven spring, It's when your bread puffs up. And some breads may rise dramatically, they almost double in size. It is basically a sped up fermentation, because as we all know, the warmer your dough is, the more rapidly it will ferment. And when it hits the oven, with the extreme temperature, it jumps into action. And whilst the dough was filling up slowly with carbon dioxide whilst it was fermenting, that process gets sped up dramatically in the oven. But the oven spring does not last that long, because yeast dies off once it gets to 44 degrees Celsius. So as soon as our dough reaches that internal temperature, it will stop rising. And from that point, the crust will start coloring. And the crumb, the inside of the bread, will start gelatinizing. And a soft, stretchy piece of dough gets transformed into a beautiful bread. It is very important to prevent the surface of the dough from drying out too quickly. Baker's ovens have a feature where you can inject steam into the oven chamber and that keeps the dough moist, helps it expand. When we're baking at home, we need to look at other techniques of doing that. Brushing a surface of bread with egg, water, a little bit of oil or milk will prevent the crust from setting too quickly. But obviously that's not going to be possible with every bread you bake. Using a cast iron skillet with a lid is a great way of trapping steam. And if you have one of these pots, definitely use it. You bake the loaf halfway through with the lid on, steaming. Then you take the lid off and finish the crust off. But because the size of the pot is limited, this is not possible to do with every kind of bread. Another way of creating steam in your oven is by placing a tray in the bottom of the oven to preheat. Then come baking time, once you place your bread in the oven, splash a couple hundred grams of boiling water in that tray and then quickly close the oven door and that should hold in the steam at least for a little bit but of course it's not ideal but that's what we have to deal with as home bakers now when it comes to baking time every bread is different some flatbreads only take three minutes in a high temperature oven whilst on the other end of the spectrum a pumpernickel bread might be left in the oven for 18 hours barely cooking and whilst when you are proofing your dough you have to mostly use your own judgment and not completely follow a recipe. When it comes to baking times, they are more or less correct. But of course, we have to keep in mind that every single oven is different. And as home bakers, we have to learn about how our oven works and how it bakes our bread. And only then we'll be in full control. And that's baking for you. Make sure your oven is preheated properly. Try to get as much steam in there as possible and bake your breads on a thick, solid, hot surface. A cast iron pot, a Pyrex dish, a pizza stone. All of those will make your bread jump into action and the steam will help it carry on rising. Now, if you are really unsure if your bread has been properly baked or not, there is one surefire way of telling. Besides just tapping the bottom and feeling it, you can stick a temperature probe in it. If it reads more than 94 degrees Celsius, is done. After baking, there's only one more step we need to take before we eat our bread, and that is cooling it down. And I'll talk about that in the next episode. And that will be the final episode on the Steps of Baking series. All of the breads you've seen in this video, I have recipes for on my YouTube channel, so you can check them out if you like to. I will link a playlist for the Steps of Baking at the end of this video. And if you have any questions or suggestions, drop them down in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.